Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to strap a surfboard to your vehicle. Now today I'm going to be using a longboard just because it's a little bit easier to show you. So for equipment, you are going to want to have straps to secure the surfboard to your vehicle. For these, you can just Google kayak or surfboard straps and they should come up on Google. You can also find these at any sporting goods stores. Kayak and surfboard straps work the same. You can also use ratchet straps. The other piece of equipment you are going to want to have is a roof rack. Now you can technically do this with pool noodles instead of a roof rack if you don't have one. However, I would not recommend that for long-term use. If you have a sedan, you are going to want to use roof racks that look like these, but make sure they actually fit your car before you order them. And then if you have a Jeep or SUV, you're going to have a roof rack that looks like this. They can be found online at Quadratech. I would recommend not buying anything from Smitty Built as it is crappily made and commonly referred to as rhymes with Smitty Built. Anyway, you will also need a pair of roof rack pads so that way your surfboard does not get damaged on top of the sports rack and these just unvelcro and go over the bars on the roof rack and then your surfboard goes on top and I will put the link in the description for those. They can be found at any sporting goods stores. And the last piece of equipment of course is a surfboard. So you're going to grab your surfboard and head over to your vehicle and then when you're behind your vehicle go ahead and lift up your surfboard and then slide it onto the rack. You can do this from the back, that's usually easiest, from the rear of the car. And then just slide it over the roof rack, over the middle. And then grab your straps. Go around to one side of the car, it doesn't matter which side, passenger or driver. And then grab the buckle of the strap Pull it underneath the bar, leave the buckle on one side, and then pull the strap as straight as possible and toss the excess part of the strap over to the other side of the vehicle. Then go around to the other side of the vehicle, flatten and straighten out the strap, and then loop the rest of the strap underneath the bar and toss the excess to the other side of the vehicle. Then go to the rear of the vehicle. Tuck the buckle end of the strap underneath the bar, leave the buckle on one side. Make sure the strap is as flat and straight as possible. Go to the other side of the vehicle, grab the rest of the strap, the excess portion, pull underneath the bar, and throw the rest over to the other side of the vehicle. And as always, make sure the strap is flat and straight. Then go to the front of the vehicle and grab the remainder of the strap, flatten it out, make sure it is straight and flat, and then slide the waxed end or the end of the strap through the buckle and pull this as tight as possible. And you can pull up on the strap for this and get your hand close to the buckle. Make sure the strap's as tight as possible and then loop the strap underneath the bar one more time. Then go to the back, slip the excess remainder of the strap through the buckle and pull it as tightly as possible. Make sure the strap's as tight as possible and then loop the strap underneath the bar one more time, the excess portion of the strap. Tuck this into your window and then roll up the window to make sure it's tight and not flapping around in the wind as you drive 60 down the freeway. All right, that's everything. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. Thank you.